first, first thing is we'll have our meditation. If we could bring these lights down a little. I've been reading these wonderful poems that are uni best love unity poems out of this book I found at Unity Village. They were giving away books from the library, cleaning out the, some of the archives. And I love it. It's, it was published in 1947. This one's by James Dillett Freeman, who also wrote the uh, Prayer for Protection, which is on the moon, by the way, left in a capsule up there. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's uh, our most famous unity poet, James Dillett Freeman, and it's called Your Christmas Guest. Take time this Christmas day to go a little way apart and with the hands of prayer prepare the house that is your heart. Brush out the dusty fears, brush out the cobwebs of your care to the house that is your heart. It's Christmas everywhere. Light every window up with love and let your love shine through. They who walk that they who walk outside may share the blessed light with you. And then, with, yeah, with moms, with joy be bright, with peace and, and hearth be blessed, and Christ himself will enter in and be your guest. So take a moment now. In unity, we know that Christ is principle, not a person. And that principle is in each and every one of us. That that light within is at the utmost center of our being. It is our true essence, our true nature. And so we want to allow that Christ in us to grow this Christmas season. Not just to be born, but to grow and mature and be a bright light unto this world. We know that each of us is being called to be the demonstration of good. For God is absolute good everywhere present. And being children of that same spirit, we are also inherently good. And we are also inherently powerful that through the power of our minds we create our own reality. And so this Christmas we can imagine a beautiful, bright, peaceful reality. And we know in prayer we increase our conscious contact with the Spirit of God within and without, all around us and within us, everywhere present. Through prayer, we make conscious contact with the intelligent mind of the universe. And of course, it's not enough to know these truths, also called the laws of life. We must also live the truth we know. It's not enough to know these principles, but we must put them into action. In our minds today, let the manifestation of our peace come into a bright realization, a vision for us, each and every one individually, of how we are making this world a better place, a brighter place, a more loving place. Let us know that we not only can do it, we are doing it. Be grateful for who we are and how we're not only being blessed, but how we're blessing this world. Let us now sit in the silence knowing that we are God's peace, God's love, God's joy and God's power.
as we take another breath, allow yourself to come back into the room, into awareness of the room, of your body, sitting in the chair, of all the beautiful people sitting around you. And we say amen and amen. And we resume. Now Karen's going to come and give us a little lesson on Christmas ornaments. This is being so much fun. Um, I'm learning a little more as I'm doing this too. Last week we talked about the candy cane and um, the symbol of the staff and its peppermint because it's a healing herb. What I didn't remember to say was about the red and white stripes, which are a barber pole. And in ancient times, um, the barber was also the physician, which is where that symbol of the physician and the candy cane comes from. They would pull out teeth and amputate limbs and, <laughs> and dispense herbs. So it's a fabulous all through history. So um, today we're going to talk about um, the dove. A lot of things with the dove. So we, we have a couple of doves that we'll be putting on the tree. Um, when Jesus was starting his journey into ministry, um, John the Baptist uh, baptized him in the River Jordan. And according to, um, I think it's Matthew, um, the heavens opened up and the Spirit of God descended in the form of a dove settled on Jesus' shoulder, and the message was, um, this is my son whom I love, and with him I am greatly pleased. So we have the dove. Um, it's um, Noah also sent a dove when they were living on the ark, and he um, sent out a dove to see if the waters had receded. And the dove came back with the branch of the olive tree, which is, to this day, is considered a symbol of um, renouncing, re re coming together and hope. So a lot of, lot of things are in the dove. Um, of course, I'm a boater, so I love the story of the boat. It goes back to uh, Noah again. Um, it's, um, it's a symbol of God's mercy in saving Noah and the ark and the people and the animals. Um, also, Jesus was known as a fisher of men. And there's the story of Jesus protecting Peter's boat in a horrific storm. So the boat also has a lot of symbols for us. Um, the third and fourth thing, we have a couple of little things in here. This angel, which has a bell on the bottom of it, the angels, of course, are the messengers of hope. Uh, they tell us, do not be afraid, give glory to God, and on earth, peace to all men. And, of course, the bell symbolizes the shepherds. When the sheep were lost, the bell would ring on their necks and they could find them. Um, today, in unity, it symbolizes God's guidance. And if we listen within, we can find our way to peace. So those are today's ornaments, and we'll put them on the two trees. Thank you. So now it's time, if everyone would stand and take up, did you all get a blue ornament? Didn't get one. We have more in the back, Rafi has some if you didn't get one. We're going to form two lines. We've already lit the candle for faith last week, and this week we light the candle for peace.
Let's form a line on this side and on this side. Hold on, guys. There you go. You got one? Okay. I think, I think we need more on this side. <laughs> Now I want you to do something for me. Can you guys do something for me? No, no. Can you guys in the back also do, do the same thing? You guys in the back, Rafi, you guys? Grab your ornament in your hand. Close your eyes for a minute and envision the life, your perfect life, what you want to imagine that's going to be happening for you this year. Only good and peaceful and happy things Imagine all the beautiful things that you want to manifest this year. Imagine your family and friends, all your loved ones. Imagine the place where you live. And imagine where you work. Imagine the harmony and the peace between people, the forgiveness and the love. Imagine the healing and the harmony. Imagine the music. And imagine yourself right in the middle of that. You're right in the middle of the peace because you are the peace agent here. So when you put your ornament on the tree, I want you to know that you are putting yourself out in the universe to be the beacon of peace, not only for your life, but for everyone you touch and for the whole world as well. And now let us hang our ornaments on the tree, our ornaments of peace. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plain And the mountains in reply Echoing the joyous strain Oh, 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 oh In excess these days Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why you joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings bring, which inspire your heavenly song? Glory, Gloria, in excess these days. Christ, whose birth the angels sing, come adore on bended knee. Christ, the Lord, the newborn King. Glory. 